Hey guys, once again welcome to my channel Unigraphs the Learning Center. Today I'm going to cover the chapter is about computer chapter 1 class 6 part 2. So let's start. Topic in this video I'm going to cover are computer language types of generations like first generation computer, second generation computer, third generation computer like that. Then is graphic user interface that is GUI. then software and the types of softwares computer memory and its type printer and its type before that if you have still not subscribed my channel then press the red button hit the bell icon for regular update let's start our first topic is computer language so with the uh, name of this topic you can understand that it is a procedure or process of communication between each other okay so let's see a simple definition a language is defined as the medium of expression of thoughts right all the human being in this world communicate with each other by a language let it be gujarati marathi spanish whatever language okay similarly computer also needs some expression or medium to communicate with each other let's see about the generations of computer number 1 is first generation language or 1 gls that is machine language you know when human being first started programming in computer the instruction were given in a language that could be easily understand by computer and it is called machine learning language okay or machine language the binary language like 0 and 1 0 and 1 stand for your yeah, 1 and 0 stands for true and false okay is also known as machine language any instruction in this language is given in the form of 0 and 1 okay let's see this second one and that is second generation language 2 gls and that is assembly language what is assembly language assembly language just remember one thing that assembly language is the first language that computer could communicate or understand okay which you, uh, which is used in microprocessors like cpu and uh, so that type of only programmable device okay so let's see a quick definition or short definition of it the first language similar to english was developed in 1950 which was known as assembly language or symbolic programming language an assembly language is a low level programming language for microprocessors like cpu and other programmable devices i would like to recommend you to pause the video and take the screenshot okay let's see the next one that is third generation language or 3 gls we can also call it high level language let's see a short definition of it the language developed which were nearer to english language in 1960 were known as high level language the different high level language are fortran cobol basic pascal pl1 and many other languages okay now you will think that what is this fortran cobol basic pascal this is only a coding or programming language that can be written nearer to english language before this we cannot write any programming language in english language or any other language because there was only binary language that was 1 and 0 and that could only be used by scientists but now there is nothing like that after invention of this anyone can do this programming languages okay anyone can learn it the next one is fourth generation language or 4gls and that is query language what is query language query like lang- query means what query means question right so we can question to our computer that what can i do in this situation what is required okay that can we question to our computer and the most famous and important a uh, query based language is sql and that is structured query language it is table based language okay we can store our information in each and every table okay so let's see a short definition of it 
four GLs are non-procedural that focus on what of the problem is coded means what is required. The main aim of four GLs is to cut down on developed and maintenance time and making it easier for user. For example, SQL that is structured query language. Now it's fifth generation computer that is 5G LS. The 5G LS are designed to make the computer smarter. The use of 5G LS language touches on export system, computerized collection of the knowledge of many human experts, artificial intelligence and independently smart computer system. Example of this is Prolog, Oops5 and Mercury. Now let's see what is graphical user interface that is GUI based language. This is the language which use a graphical user interface to write, compile and execute the program with ease. Some of them are number 1 Visual Basic, number 2 Visual C++, number 3 Visual Basic 2005. Now let's see what is software. We can elaborate software or computer software as a program. Whatever instruction or set of instruction we give to computer, it perform according to it. It perform the specific task we tell to operate it. Okay. So let's see a short definition of it. Computer software are also called program or a set of instruction that we give to a computer or direct it and according to it it performs a task or operation computer software consists of computer program and libraries let's see the types of software there are two types of software one is system software and the other one is application software both the software have sub category Subcategory of system software are operating system and device driver and language processor. Application software subcategories are general purpose software and customized software. Now let's see what is system software and application software. A short definition is given in your screen. I would recommend you to pause the video and take the screenshot. I hope you all guys are enjoying my video let's see the definition system software software that directly operate the computer hardware to provide basic functionality needed by user and other software and to provide a platform for running application software is called system software now what is application software software that performs special functions or provide entertainment function beyond the basic operation of the computer itself is called application software like uh, your ms word ms office like this okay now we will see what is computer memory what is basically memory means the place this uh, space where we store our data or instruction or something when we require the, that information or data we can take that one that's why we store our uh, data or information in some space and that is called memory in computer like in human body whatever we read whatever we study it's stored in our brain like that similarly computer also have its memory there are basically three types of memory and they are cache memory primary or main memory number 3 is secondary memory a short definition is given in your screen pause the video and please take the screenshot cache memory cache memory is a very high speed semiconductor memory which can speed up cpu let's see advantage and disadvantage of it advantage cache memory is faster than main memory Number 2 it store data for temporary use disadvantage cache memory has limited capacity number 2 is it is very expensive now let's see what is primary memory or main memory 
it holds only those data and instruction on which the computer is currently working let's see its characteristics number 1 it is also known as main memory number 2 usually volatile memory number 3 data is lost in some case when power is switched off number 4 faster than secondary memory primary memory is divided into two parts number 1 is ram and number 2 is rom ram stands for random access memory and rom stands for read only memory ram is volatile or temporary memory and rom is non volatile or permanent memory ram is faster than rom and rom is slower than ram okay a differentiation is given in your screen please take the screenshot let's see what is secondary memory it is slower than main memory these are used for storing data or information permanently for example hard disk cd rom dvd etc let's check out its characteristics it is non volatile memory number 2 it is permanently stored even if power is switched off number 3 computer may run without secondary memory number 4 that is it is slower than primary memory now let's check what is printer printer are output device which are used to prepare permanent output on paper printer can be divided into two main categories and that is impact printer and non impact printer now let's see what is impact printer it uses hammer or pin stick against a ribbon paper to print the text what is character printer and line printer it print only one character at a time that is character printer and line printer is it is an impact computer printer that print one entire line of text at a time now let's see what is non impact printer this printer use non impact technology such as inkjet or laser technology this printer provide better quality of output at higher speed what is ink jet printer it print character by spring pattern of ink on the paper from a nozzle or jet now it is laser printer it utilize a laser beam to product an image on a drum hope guys you all like my video if you have any problem then please comment it below and if still now you have not subscribed my channel then press the red button hit the bell icon for regular update i will come soon with my next video till then take care stay healthy stay safe